uh, I'll be talking about the impact of gun culture on society. My name is Sebastian and I work as a surgeon uh, in the Red Cross Children's Hospital and I am in charge of the trauma unit for the last 15 years. So we are in a uh, university hospital, so we are affiliated to the University of Cape Town. So we all know that violence is a leading cause of death. And if you look at this graph, which is a graph from the MRC, you can see that from all causes of death, firearms is one of the biggest. In the year 2000, more than 800 children were killed by firearms. The total number of homicides in that year was 25,000, and over 50% of the murders were committed with, with firearms. There were also 22,000 attempted murders with firearms. So I'm talking about the effect of guns on society, and we we always uh, we know that men take the biggest brunt, but women and children are often not talked about, and I'll decide to, to talk about these two groups. So on women, we know that uh, legal firearms and then women killed. The ownership, ownership of legal firearms are strongly associated with uh, women killed. And it was to such an extent that there was a seven time greater risk of being murdered by an intimate partner if you owned a legal gun. So if a wife was married to someone with a gun, there's a seven times higher chance that she's murdered. And the National Femicide Study at the time showed that from 1147, one in, in three uh, of all women killed were killed by firearms. So nearly half of them were killed by their intimate partner, that were 405 women. So the suicide with legal guns, one in five of the perpetrators committed suicide after killing a partner, and many of them had a legal gun. So 80% of these double murders could have been prevented. Just a word on security workers and legal guns, 10% of the men who killed their partners were employed as a security worker, and 89% of these security workers used legal guns. So this is just a short introduction of the effect of guns on women, but my speciality of course is working in the children's hospital, looking and studying the effect of guns on children. So what we did, we uh, performed a systematic review over the last 20 years, from 1991 to 2000, and we uh, looked at all the children which were admitted with any form of accident or injury, and we looked at all the firearm-related uh, children. Now in, you have to know that in our hospital, uh, the, we only treat children up to the age of 12. The definition of a child, most organizations and, and international institutions will, would agree, is up to 18, but in our hospital for logistic reasons, we only treat up to 12, so only young children. And we drain only the western part of Cape Town, the eastern part of Cape Town is draining to Tiger Work Hospital. So we treat about 10,000 children with injuries each year. So we looked at uh, the gun, uh, the children coming with gunshots, and in the last 20 years we saw a total of 476 children under the age of 12 who were admitted after being shot. Now, it is very important to understand the difference of a child and an adult. The majority of adults who are shot are shot on purpose. Someone takes the gun, there's a fight, and aims at the other, part, at the other person and, and kills them. Children are hit in a completely different mechanism. Children, the vast majority of them are hit in crossfire. So there is a fight somewhere, a bullet is flying through the community, or multiple bullets are flying, and a child happens to be there and catches the bullet. So they represent a measurement of the amount of guns fired in the society. So it's a very important indicator of what's going on in the society. Uh, so caught in crossfire is by far the most common uh, uh, category. Then of course they can also be shot deliberately, deliberately by an adult or by another child, or they can be playing uh, with a gun. Sometimes they're shot by gangsters and sometimes it's accidental. This morning there was a talking about stabbings and gunshots and it was not a big difference. For a surgeon, uh, for a person, the victim, there's a huge difference. 
This is just a picture of an uh, 11 year old girl who was standing at the bus stop waiting for the school bus and there was a fight and one of the bullets went into her leg. Now you can see the effects of a bullet. Uh, when it hits the bone, it, it fragments into uh, lots of little pieces called shrapnel and it really destroys a big area. So it's not only the entrance and the exit wound, it's a much bigger impact, impact uh, what it has on these children. It's a uh, two-year-old child, and it's another typical example of one of the children we get. It was a child of a policeman. The policeman had a nervous breakdown. He was home with his gun, um, and he decided uh, he, he had a big fight with his wife. He decided he has to kill his wife. So he took out his legal gun, his, his police gun, tried to shoot his wife. His wife was carrying the baby, and the bullet went through the spine of the, of the, of the, the spinal cord of the child. You can see this is an MRI. You can see the bullet tracked going through the neck of the child. Now this child became paralyzed from the neck downwards and she's now living in an institution. She'll never be able to, to talk uh, or, or to, uh, to, to walk and to function normally. She'll be paralyzed for the rest of her life. This is a little boy, um, eight year old boy, uh, the son of a security guard and the security guard went home with his gun, left the gun. A six year old picked up the gun, one of his other children, and shot his sibling. Um, so he came and he operated him and he was fine afterwards. This is a child from the Cape Flats. Uh, this is a poor family, they stay in a Wendy house, a Wendy house with wooden walls. Um, and during the night there was a gang fight, so they heard, they, they, they heard uh, some shooting but they were not concerned. Then in the morning they went to, to pick up their child from the cot and one of the bullets had gone through the wall of the Wendy house into the child. And you can see the bullet uh, was sitting next to the heart. This is a chest x and you can see the big bullet next to this, uh, this child. This was another little boy. He, there was a gang fight and uh, he was shot by a stray bullet and he uh, uh, was hit by two bullets actually. And this is uh, the last picture I'm going to show. It's a small baby, less than one year. And all this year we already had a few of them who were shot by stray bullets through the head. And most of them were.